first of all, first and foremost, um, thank you, God. This is insane. Um, you know, witnessing the way I'm being manipulated is just crazy. It just the way they can make me perceive things in such a different way. It's crazy. Uh, and two seconds ago, I saw this, right? And the reason why I make this video, Target Individual, um, one thing is for sure. They want you to identify you with this manipulation. And you have these perps contracted to say whatever needs to be said for you to somehow believe that this reaction and perceptions is not being manipulated. If you heard, if seen my last video, you'll be well validated that these manipulations of manipulating the brain has been worked on for decades and we're just test subject <laughs> that uh, unfortunately the reason why it became disadvantaged is because test subjects have been used to perfect and pr add precision to this manipulation of the mind and uh, then they're supposed to guys let you to accept this this is it's like a, a mind game of some some sort a psychological uh, mind games uh, psychological warfare in a sense that we are just test subjects so they are perfecting this tactic t technique tactics in order to you know make sure to see what works it doesn't work um two seconds ago they made me see this kid right and with me i they want you to identify it's like no we're gonna show that to people they're gonna hurt just like listen let me show you right now why they manipulate me and that's because i'm doing that because they want you to feel like you should be feel guilty you know every time i look at this picture it looks different now initially when i saw this picture uh let me see if i can i was like okay this is looking like a kid but i wasn't sure my brain is like they changed my perception of me looking at her as a kid then they start changing her to make me think that she was like not a kid for a second but i was like there was like a mental battle and they even made me, <laughs> they also tried to make me look at her breast which is non-existent because she's a child and even right now when i'm looking at it uh, at this kid they're doing they're creating ways oh this is actually perfect like they're trying their best to make me look at this kid in a way that's like an adult and it's it's going back and forth now when i look at her i i know i will notice she's a child i'll think more she's like a 12 year old kid or so like a close to early teen or pre-teen but early but she, this is a 10 year old right and even that was about it's like oh you, you thought it was a 12 uh, 12 13 instead of a 10 year old you see it's like what <laughs> it's just crazy but I will recognize her immediately, like I will, I, I will recognize her as a child. I did initially, and then my brain was kind of worked in a way that it started making me think that it was like an, an adult. I don't know, they would try to create features of like almost an adult who looks young. It was crazy. I was like, that is insane. Like, no, this is a, this is a kid. And they were doing this back and forth. Because I was like, no, that looks like a kid. I think initially I would think that it would, this was like a 12-year-old a or so, something like that. But my brain, and as I'm looking at it, stimulate me too. My brain, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy how they create this thing. My brain is played with to look at her in different ways and even give me stimulation for a second and stuff. They can play with my brain in, in so many ways to force me to perceive this child in a sexual way. Now, the reason why I make this video... It's because somebody said something about, we'll show this. I'm like, what? Let me say this. And I'll, in front of them, I will, they know that I'll never identify with this. And uh, there's neighbors, right? Their job is to break you down into accepting this. <laughs> they open the door, you can hear the, the dog barking. It's supposed to make noise campaign and make me identify with these manipulations. Because they want me to think that this perception of this child it's not true. They even try to make me look at her breasts. As you can see, it's a child. There's no breast there. But I was trying to make me end it like in my brain. It's like, no, but you know, this women with, <laughs> with no breasts. <laughs> Truly in my brain is completely manipulated and perceptions are created. And you just got to understand this is no longer you. You're no longer yourself. What you're experiencing now is how they make you experience things. 
meaning that whatever you see can be manipulated. Whatever you think can be manipulated. Whoever you perceive, like this child, can be manipulated. Right now, I'm, they're playing my genitals just a little bit and then going back to normal as I say that it's tracking. But it's just meant to break you down. And they're doing really back and forth. And it's like, no, this is a kid. And the, the battle is just starting my brain. And I was like, and it's like, no, it's not. And it's like, what? And I looked down, it's like a 10 year old. That's why they were trying to do this back and forth. It was the child that was right initially. Then they tried to change that. It's nasty. And, you know, earlier today, I was, I was like sitting somewhere far. I was, uh, I was so, I was by my, my, my window. And they start stimulating me from somebody I didn't even see. I could not even see because they were too far from me. Uh, as I'm saying that they tried to create the stimulations. It was like a far, it was all the way there. You can see like the one, the next door windows, like all the way there, forcing me to get stimulations. My point is these manipulations are disgusting and you gotta be strong. You gotta understand this is how they're gonna do whatever they do to make you accept this manipulation and it's supposed to break me down. One thing I refuse to even let these bottom fields contracted by these pedophiles to do what they do is to let them escape. You know, their job is to make me identify with this. I understand this is what this technology is doing, is capable of doing. This is what this entities have been working for years and years in order to be able to do that and implement that onto us target individual in order to continuously pr improve precision of this technology and so as i'm saying that they try to do everything possible to change subjects but i'm going to stick to that to, to that subject because this is what you see darpa working on in the 60s and today in 1965, DARPA launched Project Pandora, which studied the possibility of using microwave radiation to control human beings. The project reportedly ended in 1969, but DARPA's investigation of how machines can affect and possibly control the brain continues to this day. And so this is how my brain is controlled to make me perceive whoever they want in a way they want me to have that perception go i mean i saw that the two sh the, the the perception shifting one way to another initially seeing a child then my brain having this like ways of perceiving her into like an adult and then able to see the titles like okay so having that there's this back and forth and then you know this perps doing what they need to do to try to counter reality to try to counter reality they're making no campaign, all this gimmicky theatrical aspect of things to try to make me accept this. You see, um, I wish I could, I wish I could record. Actually, listen, listen to this. So then it stopped doing that, but usually they have the noise campaign. But yes, um, they, they stopped making the noise campaign because I think it, it looks too obvious of what they're doing. But yes, there's noise campaign to try to get you to, my, to accept these manipulations. It's part of the way they try to gaslight you. And so for me, it's just like, I know what these people do. I know they force men and women to look at children in different ways, in sexual ways, and play with the perception. With me, the reason why they play with the perception is because they want me to look at this kid in a sexual way. So try to create a perception that's like an adult, and then start creating a sexual perception of that adult that they create in my brain, which in reality is a child. Um, it's nasty. And uh, it's the foul things that these bottom fields do. You know, I was hearing this trash saying that the government's going to support them. It's like, listen, trash like you. They deserve to work and, and work for entities that does these things. For me, my, my purpose while I'm alive is to 
testify and talk about what's happening and show what's happening and target individual when they make you experience these things they're gonna try to vilify you so meaning they're gonna force you to experience something that this technology is capable of making you experience and then just like when I went to the door, they turned, they stopped doing the noise camping because it was going to sound exactly like what I'm saying. They will do the noise camping to get you to feel guilty for the manipulation that they make you experience. So for me, when they do that, I'm like, please do that so I can capture this. Because my purpose is to show these gimmicks, these theatrics in order to get you to accept these things. Because these things... And this picture, <laughs> and I need to like look at it, uh, look at it better because, <laughs> wow, they still try to make me, wow, <laughs> this kid, which I don't know, and they're still giving me like a weird feeling and sensation that's sexual about this kid. Oh my gosh, they're even making me look at her arms in the way. It's it's insane. trying to do things to me to look at this kid in a sexual way it's, it's crazy but that's what they do and as they do that is i feel my brain warming up and heating up because they're obviously forcing me to have this kind of reaction they do that all the time um, sometimes it's sensations sometimes it's stimulations here's a mixture of sensations and perception manipulation it's weird but it's like they're finding the precise way to manipulate and tweak things around to manipulate me to re re react to children in a sexual way. And so, like I said, in real time, I experienced two perceptions really quickly, back to back. First, I see, the, I see a child, and then they, they make me perceive that now. No, that's not a child. That's like an adult. And I'm like, what? And they try <laughs> To try to look at her in a sexual way, they make me look at this kid's breast that is non-existent, and then they're like, "Oh, you know, this woman with no breasts," <laughs> and to, to try to make me believe this is a child. It's so nasty. And then there's the theatricals, the, the the theatricals of what they do. To try to make me accept these things. So this is a quick um, video to to let target individual the reason why i make this video is because they're like oh we're gonna show you we're gonna show it they're like what Man, let me make this video the reason why i take a screenshot of these things is because i want to show what they do to me and i don't want to identify <laughs> making me look at a, a child non-existent breast to try <laughs> to try to make me look at this kid in a sexual way it's the life of what these bottom feelers do and they even got to the battle, mental battle where, oh, you thought she was like 12-ish instead of 10-ish. This is... This is what is going on in my life as a target individual. And it is my purpose to testify and give you uh, an idea of what's happening as to TI, as a target individual. Like I said, there's a purpose behind this. The reason why they do these things to us is because they want to depower us. You should never identify with this manipulation. If you recognize that this is manipulated, regardless of what you're feeling in, in, in the moment, the stimulation, the sensation is how precise this technology gets. Do not identify. That's what they're capable of doing. It's going to get worse and worse for me. They're going to be able to do more stimulation, more sensations. It's going to, sound, it's going to feel more precise. Because your brain is becoming more and more hot. So this kid <laughs> pushing a car can force now, they can force me to have stimulation, to have stimulation toward this kid. You know, even if it was an actual woman, I would never have stimulation just because she's pushing, like what? So the ability to do that is, is what this program is about. And it's annoying, it's frustrating, it's disturbing, it's fatiguing. It is really tiresome. But let me show this again, and I'm doing that on purpose, because one thing they want you to, to identify with is this. As I'm saying that it's like noise campaign. I wish I could, you could listen to the noise campaign. Uh, they used the dog to do the noise campaign, which is so sad. So they want me to look at this kid 
make me imagine that this kid is not a kid but an adult which he looked like a, a child he just they were able to create his perception really quickly <laughs> i was still oh they still try to make me look at this kid's not non-existent <laughs> um this she's pushing a car there's nothing else it's so disturbing target individual do not identify with the manipulations just say that this. see these losers these bottom feeders who sold their soul to pedophiles what they are trash i know me saying that does not make my case any better meaning they're not it is provoking them but i could not see any other way of doing things but saying things for what they are because it is my purpose for to help target individual and to show these losers and these bottom feeders who are weak coward trash working for pedophiles forcing men and women to perceive children this way